this week's kids books bingo highlight category is a book with a tiger in it. Hi everyone, it's Jenny here from The Bear and the Fox. I am hosting a summer reading challenge together with my lovely friend Amanda from Books and Pieces. It's called the Kids Books Bingo and we have come up with nine different categories of books that we are challenging you to try and read with your kids over the summer. You can download a copy of the Bingo Grid over on my blog and I'm going to be highlighting one of the categories every week and sharing some of my and my children's favourite books for that category. So my first choice for this is Augustus and His Smile by local author Catherine Rayner. She's an author illustrator from Edinburgh so we've been lucky enough to meet her a few times and her style is really beautiful. So this book is about Augustus the Tiger who has lost his smile and he is trying to find it. So Augustus did a huge tigery stretch and set off to find his smile. So here he is creeping along looking for his smile under some bushes. I can't read you the whole book unfortunately because of copyright but I could give you a little bit of a taster. He climbed to the tops of the tallest trees he found birds that chirped and called, but he couldn't find his smile. So he's really looking everywhere, as you can see. And then eventually, what happens? Pitter, patter, pitter, patter, drip, drop, plop. It starts to rain. And what happens when it rains? Can you guess? Yes, when it rains, you get puddles. And what does he find in the puddles? His smile. It's a really beautiful book with beautiful illustrations and we would totally recommend it. So next we have There's a Tiger in the Garden, another gorgeously illustrated book as you may be able to tell. I have a thing for books with beautiful illustrations. So this is a story about Nora who's staying with her grandma and she's quite bored and grandma says why don't you go and play in the garden? I thought I saw a tiger there earlier. A tiger? asks Nora. There's no tiger in the garden. I'm too old for silly games. I'm sure I saw one, she replies. Dragonflies the size of birds and plants that can swallow you up whole. And a polar bear who likes fishing, though he's a bit grumpy, but most magnificent of all was the tiger. So Nora doesn't really believe her grandma, but she goes and has a look anyway, and she finds lots of amazing things, including plants that can swallow your pole. So if they're real, maybe all the other things are real too. Polar bear. <laughs> and eventually she finds a tiger. Although she's still saying, there is no tiger living in my grandma's garden. She's in for a very big surprise. Ah, it's a tiger. But it's okay, it's a friendly tiger, nothing happens to Nora. They just have a nice time together. And um, the tiger takes Nora for a ride. And it's just a really lovely adventure. It's a great story about make-believe and friendship and again, beautifully illustrated. So um, you won't regret um, getting this book. And then last but not least, we have a book from my childhood so it's in German. Um, Janosch is a really popular German children's author. This book is called Oh, wie schön is Panama. You'll be happy to know it's also available in English, The Trip to Panama. And um, this book is about two friends, the little bear and the little tiger, because we're all about tigers today. And there's actually a whole series of books about these two. They're all great books about friendship. Um, so this is my recommendation for slightly older children to read for them by themselves or you can read it out loud to younger children. So in this story, the little bear and the tiger, they're a bit bored of their life and they find this box which says Panama written on it and they decide to go on a journey to find Panama in search of a better life. And they meet all these people along the way and they have adventures here, the weather isn't quite their friend and they meet lots of new friends along the way. And at the very end of the story, they kind of end up back where they started and they realize that really home is where it's best. So it's a really lovely story 
about friendship and about um, being happy with what you have and where you are. And there's lots of other stories about the little bear and the tiger too, which you can check out. I'm, I'm not sure if all of them are available in English, but this one definitely is and a couple of the other ones too. So that's the, the bear and the tiger stories. So those were our choices for a book with a tiger in it. I would love to know what you're reading too. You can leave me a comment over on my blog and you can also find me on Twitter and Instagram under the username Bear and Fox Blog. So happy reading and I will see you soon. Bye!